Hey there, welcome to this quick walkthrough of Digital Assistant. When you first look into your Digital Assistant, you will see that the actual front end of the Responsive Design web app has something called Demo Mode activated. Demo Mode means that you see 10 sample cards inside of your Assistant that show you generated data. So it is examples of what you could see with your Assistant without needing to first connect to any applications um, in order for you to get sort of a sense of what Digital Assistant does. So uh, we have cards for things like tickets and issues or calendar events or announcements. And if you had actually started connecting Digital Assistant to your own applications, um, you subsequently disable this demo mode um, so that you can start using the assistant for real. Now, when I say you have cards here, these cards are actually on what we call your board. So your board is an aggregated, personalized view of all information that is relevant to you. So in our example, let's say I have a card that shows me upcoming events. Um, and I have another card that shows me announcements from SharePoint. And I could actually move these cards across my board if I wanted to rearrange my board. And if I'm actually done looking at a card, so if I'm, let's say, not longer interested in my tasks, I would simply be able to actually unpin it from my board. So that way I don't have it on my board any longer. Now, a huge part of Digital Assistant is that it doesn't just allow you to consume information like you can here on your board, but you can also actively ask for information from your Assistant. And for that, we have the chatbot dropdown available here in the Assistant. And you can virtually ask this anything that it has an answer to. So let's say I'm typing in, is any server? And it actually auto-completes for me here questions that it knows an answer to. So similar to what a Google search would do for you. So if I say, is any server down, it would actually bring up the same card here that we see just inside my chatbot. So this extends these suggestions to almost anything. So you could say, what are my news? And it'll show you that. So these are all my news. Or you could say, um, what are my tasks? And it'll bring up that. And that's actually the same card we unpinned. So if you did find something inside of the chatbot that you think is interesting to you, you could actually pin cards to your board to keep sort of tabs on them right from the chatbot. Now, um, another way that users are able to integrate with this assistant is by directly speaking to the assistant from chatbots that are embedded inside chat applications like Slack or Microsoft Teams. So similar to how you can ask the chatbot anything in the actual web app, you can also ask the chatbot anything inside of Slack. So you can say, are any servers down? Or you could say, show me open leads. And then your assistant just quickly fetches you that answer and shows it to you here in the native format that Slack uses. And similarly, in Microsoft Teams, you could ask things like, um, show me open issues by priority. Oh, little typo, see if it gets there anyways. Here we go. So it just grabbed me um, my chart here. Or you could say, show me my open tickets, just if you prefer a list of them. Here we go. So uh, you get the idea. Basically, anything you can ask the chatbot itself, you can also ask from within chatbot agents that work within existing chat applications. Now, another huge part um, that people stay on top of their work updates is through notifications. So um, let's say you're connected to your open issues from, in this case, GitHub. 
but you don't want to have the GitHub card on your board, yet you also don't want to miss updates from GitHub, then you would have the possibility to subscribe or unsubscribe from updates to and from this source. And when you do get an update, it would show up here inside the notifications dropdown. So right now I have a lot of unread notifications, um, but I could simply start clicking any one of them and it will open up the card inside a modal. So here, those are my tasks. I can see events which are due or new leads I have in Salesforce. But let's say I'm actually not inside the assistant, but I still want to get updates. Let's say I'm here in my project management software and I'm doing something, but in order to prioritize my um, current work, I actually want to get a few updates from the assistant. Then you can bring up our, and actually just being interrupted here by a system notification, which is the assistant sending me a notification that it has something new for me. Uh, and this works on Mac or PC. And this is a companion feature of what I was trying to say is our Chrome extension. So no matter which page you're working on, if you want to invoke the assistant quickly, just click on the digital assistant Chrome extension and you get all of your notifications here. So um, they're all unread again, because this is demo mode. Um, but I could, let's say, just look at a quick few tickets. Let's say I want to see what tickets a customer has opened so I can prioritize it in my project. Um, other modes that people can use um, their assistant with would be, for example, by embedding cards into your intranet. Let's say you're using SharePoint, then you could simply show cards being embedded alongside regular SharePoint web parts. So here we have a card that shows you your goal attainment. Um, so it has a little expanding section. And then if you were interested in this card, you could actually pin it or subscribe to it. So even if as a user you stumble across a card um, somewhere in your intranet, you would be able to pin that to your workplace to keep tabs on it. Now I did mention a couple of times that we are actually using a responsive design by BEP. So normally this would be browser-based, but users can actually add this to their home screen. Um, and it's also prepared for a native app wrapper. Should you so want that, then just get in touch. Um, nevertheless, we have all of our cards here from the board in a list. We can access our chatbot, so we can ask the AI anything like, um, show me my news. There we go. And of course, you also have your notifications available here. So you can look at all of your leads from Salesforce, or you can just see all of your notification. And that's probably the view that's most similar to what you get in the Chrome extension. As an administrator, you would also have access to the um, admin panel of Digital Assistant. So this is accessible here from your My Profile dropdown. And I do just want to run through a couple of quick steps. First of all, you have a Get Started page here, which may look different based um, on how many cards or not you already have in your system. But I did want to point out just the card hub here, where you can see all of the cards that are installed in your assistant. So under See Your Installed Cards, we see that I have all of my cards connected to this demo mode. But if I wanted to start using the assistant with real data, then I would uninstall this card and then reinstall it, not using demo mode, but using an application of my choosing. We've got HubSpot available. And then if you clicked on install, you would subsequently be redirected to HubSpot. You can also browse by integrations. So you can just see applications that you're using in your organization and see cards that work with these applications. So let's say for this service, we have server monitor, but for Freshdesk, we would have the help desk card. 
a complete list of available applications can be found on our website. If you go to the card hub on our website, as shown, you can see all matter of cards and integrations that are available to you. Um, so if you see anything that you like, do get in touch via chat, which is available both on the website or inside Digital Assistant. Now that covers you in terms of what is stuff that I can display in Digital Assistant, but where I can display Assistant, so the modes in which people can consume content from the Assistant, that is what we call channels. So Microsoft Teams or Slack are a channel, and you can simply um, enable this from your backend panel here. So let's say Slack is enabled, then you could manage that. Uh, so just by clicking here and add to Slack. Or similarly, if I want to switch on Microsoft Teams, then I would do so, and then I would get here a button that would allow me to directly add this to Microsoft Teams, which you can also share with your users. Lastly, I wanted to just highlight a feature in Digital Assistant called the, the Q&A bot. So um, frequently users would ask a chatbot for typical frequently asked questions like what is the Wi-Fi at the office, what are benefits at the workplace, and you can actually create such cards easily inside the assistant for that purpose. So let's say what I just said, you could say, um, what is the password for the guest Wi-Fi? Then we recommend that you come up with about three to four different ways that you envisage users would ask this question. So let's say I need to log into the guest Wi-Fi. And a third way might be how can a visitor connect to the internet? And then the AI engine takes all of these phrases and combines and expands on them in order to maximize the possibility that the AI engine will capture correctly the intent of the user later on. In the next step, I'm defining what the assistant should reply. So we could say the um, SSID of the guest Wi-Fi, getting another notification from the assistant here, is, let's say, demo company guest net. And the password is um, cotton candy, let's say. And then you click Next. And lastly, we would be able to include a button for the user. So we could say um, trouble connecting. And then that could be a link to the IT team or the support team or something like that. So we save that. And if I'm actually uh, going back to my assistant now, I'll be able to demonstrate this new question that we made. And I would say, um, what is the password? And it's already suggesting to me here what it has an answer from. So I'm just going to select that. And then very quickly, um, we've been able to make a Q&A card. So thank you very much for attending this webcast. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to use the chat functionality in Digital Assistant or on our website, and we'll be very happy to help you. Thank you very much.